So in this video, I will show you how you go from this AI generated image of a statue to actually get a 3D model out of it. And I must say it is the most detailed 3D model that I have ever created with an AI. Because if you just take a look at the chest here, you can actually see the scratches on the chest. And it's actually also the same on the 3D model. So it is a very highly detailed. And you can also see like the pattern on the helmet is actually also looking pretty good. The only downside about this is of course that it has a lot of vertices and faces. But I will show you in this video also how you can go and optimize it. So if you want to use it in a game, you can do that. But a model like this could actually go and be 3D printed and look very good when it's 3D printed. So first of all, I want to show you how you create the AI generated image and how you can make a prompt so that you get the white background also and then just generate anything that you want and then we will go and make it to 3d so first of all i do use this designer microsoft.com you can of course also go and use image generators like midjourney but the way i formulate the prompt is just to say old statue warrior showing only the face and the place it stands on so what i mean by that was i actually wanted to put on like a pedestal or something but since it cannot do that maybe mid journey is a little bit better for that and then finally i say we do want to have a white background so the image i came up with that i think was good was actually this image down here so it was this one i created and then you can of course just go and download it and save it on your computer so the website i use for this is this tripo or tripo i, I actually don't know how you pronounce it but it's this tripo3d.ai. And when you go to that website, you can just say try tripo web. And when you create an account, you do get some of these energy points that you can go and generate models with. So it's actually very simple because what you have to do is to go and say single image. And I also have to mention it is free. Uh, you, you have a certain amount of energy which you get for free. So you can really go and try it out. And then you just want to go and choose an image. And I will just take this image that I downloaded from the AI image generator and say open. And then we just want to go and say generate. So it will go and generate the 3D model now and it will take around one or two minutes to complete. So once the model is generated, you can just go and click to view it. So when the 3D model is generated, you can go and preview it. You can also go and rig it if it was a like a character that you want to animate and it will cost some of these coins here and you can also go and add the hd texture oh i can see now it's only the subscribers only so you actually want to have to go and pay for that but you can go down to the button here and just say download and then it will download this glb file which you can just go and open inside blender so to actually go and import it into blender you just have to go to files and say import and then choose the GLB here, then go and find the model that you want to open or import and then click on it and say import. So I do already have it, but your model might be looking like this. So if you want to see it with texture, you can just go up here and click on the texture button. But another thing I want to show you is when you click on it and you can actually go up to this arrow here and say statistics then you can see how many vertices and also how many faces and edges that the model have. And if you want to go and scale that down, you will of course lose some details when you do it, but you can really go and say modifier and say add a modifier. And then you want to use this decimate. So once you have this decimate modifier, you can see that we have this collapse option, which is the one we want to use. So we do want to take the ratio and you, you can see right now it's one and you can actually see the face count also down here just as we can see it up here but let's try to make it 0 0.5 and then let's see how many vertices that we get rid of we have 263,000 now so let's go and say 0 0.1 and now you can see we do ha only have like 138 i don't really believe that there was so many changes to the model actually 
So you can really go and play around with this. Let's try to make it 0.1 and let's try to look at the model. So you could see it actually lost some details, but it still look pretty good. And right now we only have like 35,000 vertices. So you could go really extreme with this and just go and say 0.01. So now we do only have like 4,800 vertices. But as you can see, it actually do a fun thing here because you can see it, it actually begin to look like that you can look inside the model and we don't really want that. So let's just go and remove the modifier again. And before you actually do all this, go and hit tab and then say M on your keyboard to merge and say by distance. Already here, we actually get rid of 13,000 vertices. So the problem we had before was actually that some of the vertices was not merged together. So if you just manually would go and take like uh, one vertices and you want to drag it, then you might actually have one at the exact same spot, but which will just have a face in the other direction. So when you go and say that you want to scale down how many vertices you have on your model, it will go and make this hole in the model. But right now it shouldn't do it anymore. So let's try to go and add the decimate again. And let's try to go extreme once again, 0 0.01. And now you can see we actually don't get the holes anymore. But as you can see, if we actually go down and make it even more extreme here, you can see that we actually get a whole other figure now because there is not so many vertices in it anymore. So you cannot see any details. So you might want to go and scale it up a bit again. So this was like five times more and you could maybe go and use this in a game, maybe a little bit more down. If it wasn't a such a detailed game, then it would be okay to go and use like a sculpture inside the game. So just to compare it with some other 3D AI generators, you can see this is the trellis version I have also created a video about earlier but if you go and see it it is very not that detailed as the tripo so if we go into blender here you can see a big big difference but i do really think that you can see the potential of go and create ai models to your game or to 3d printing in general when you look at this tripo ai generator but yeah that was actually it for this video so go and have a nice day Bye. Hit subscribe, let the fam unite. Don't forget to like, spark the algorithm light. One click closer, dreams in your sight. Join the Zeppelin flow, let's take flight.